but then they couldn't make it work in the team compositions, even though the Twisted Fate was fine in the lane well, phase. This is going to be match number 11. Not, they can uh, pounce on Mickey. As Guga could ward and then immediately st stun. As I, uh, yep, over the wall, stun does come in. Guga continues this level of play. Uh, sorry, fourth win. Uh, and also, he's got a player of the game every single time. His hybrid's down to about 100. Well, yes. It's always going to go in their favor. And Ezreal's just not strong enough yet to really offer anything. Big trade. Yeah, there's the ulti. Flash comes out. As, uh, there's a teleport back. Mickey does have a gold card ready, but that's a flash forward. Ulti comes down. Rich is going to get all of the sweet spots. Is now Ixu trying oh. to get the damage back. One auto on a Mickey would have done it, but they do not. Such a good champion. And honestly, Mickey is, I think he's about to get set back to Disney World. Yeah, that's happening. As in goes Dr. Mickey's very, very dead. Guga takes away the kill, but that's OK. This is uh, an interesting Kai'Sa build. I have not seen this before. Well, let's see whether it works out as Ixu pops his second Cyclone. But Rich is very happy in this matchup so far. Flawless comes in, but way too late. And uh, we get, we've got to die, so we're going to go for it. There's the gold card. Ixu gets in and will be able to take down Too the Rich, Aatrox. but at what cost, one might ask as, okay, he's honestly, at this point, he's getting bullied. Yep, Booger is going to deny a lot of that turret damage, though, as well. Then does should keep Rich alive. Mickey taking so much damage there in the mid lane, and you have to keep your mind on those frozen trolls. If one of these kills does go down in favor of Dynamics, it's going to work, but he goes in through. He is going Woo! to pop the decoy, and this is a lot of work being done by SP. And Hybrid getting a kill, very big. Oh! Yeah, Wallace going to su survive for the moment. Now, Doc Dom, you are very, very dead, my friend. Wild cards. Uh, in the meantime, oh, Hybrid okay. is uh, just getting jumped on by Guga. And Mickey is dead, guys. I'm not sure what he was doing there. It looked heroic. Um, it was a mistake. I thought it was uh, a new ride at Disneyland. You leave him alone. I mean, dis is Disneyland even open? I don't think it is. I think it's closed. But maybe that he was looking for a ride at Disneyland. It's Wallace. He's going to look to steal a win break and does so. It takes two kills. He yep. needs to soften them all up. They do get the Scuttle Crab. Cool. Smokescreen Ali wasted, actually. There's a lot of value. I mean, hit four people. Oh, okay. That ain't bad, as Rich is going to do a oh. lot of damage there. Uh, sorry, take a lot of damage there, as he goes in through. There's the flash into the Cyclone, as Kuzan keeps himself alive with his stopwatch now. Self-ultimate just to buy space, and flashes his way out. But that's not really going to help you get a Drake, nor will it help you get, stay alive, but Kuzan does. For the meantime, Mickey also going golden, as in goes Dokdom, right into the middle of the fight. There are such low health bars, but no one's died just yet. Finally, Beyond will fall down. Oh, right now, this is the thing that happens to mages a lot, especially when they have to build utility items. Well, Rich could be in trouble here as the Destiny does come down. In goes Mickey. That is going to be good night, Aatrox, after a little while. As, of course, he's able to keep himself up for quite some time. Dynamics are deciding that it was just take a Baron as there is ATF without Teleport or Destiny on the bottom side of the map. Kuzan, though, getting chased down by Hybrid, landing all of the Qs. Oh, it's a and, mess. It's, yes, a, now Guga, it's a mess. Uh, Go next. Where are we going? Uh, Kuzan is going to find the support here, and he should fall down. Mickey's going to come in. We'll have a gold card available, but he won't need I it. I like it. Beyond this, doesn't have his Flash, so of course can't actually get into that bit. As True Shot Barrage going to find no one. Kuzan is over the wall. He does have the claw, as it is going to be taken there by Mickey and Beyond. Yeah. And in 40 seconds, there's going to be another Infernal Dragon. Yeah. Rich, not sure whether I would have made that decision. Um, but he's going to be told that that is a bad idea very quickly. Guga going to dive on forward, but going to have to mitigate a lot more damage than that as Ixu. Cyclone, second application, I think still available. No, not going to be able to use it just yet as Mickey's flashed on in. Whoa! Uh, goodbye, Team Dynamics. As Kuzan does ult himself, but he's in amongst all of these. Assuming they're actually going to be able to take this one down. Yeah, he has teleport, so it looks like yeah. he's just trying to use it to keep minions alive. Wow, it's going to be another fast game number two. Anything you can do, I can do better, as it is going yep. to be a 28-minute win on Solo One Prince's side. And you have to say, that's a throw. That, that, that Wukong just had so much more value, as you can see. Even on damage with an Ezreal, and that is a big deal. We're back after Dynamics versus Sora and Prince, game number two. Yeah, Ixu said in the mic check that he was so nervous, so what's your take on the game number two draft? 
Sora and Prince, they have better balance with their comp, even though Ezreal and Graves, they are very low in terms of win rate, but, well, they had a really good synergy and well-balanced comp, and Wukong itself is a very good, maybe an OP champion. But Dy Dynamics, they were the team that always had the um, well-balanced comp, but this time around, they kind of put in Tantheon, which was which kind of requires a lot of win conditions. They had to keep winning those Kai'Sa Pantheon, the bot comp, a lot of kills for them to kind of roll throughout the game, but they weren't able to pull it off during this game. And we can hear from the mic check that Miki said, I told you Wukong was the answer to Ixu and his teammates, and well, yeah, that was well and truly the answer for Toreon Prince in game number two. Dynamics, they did have a control in early game, but we had a very, kind of a little bit of a mistake in this skirmish. So Dynamics players, they were focusing on Twisted Fate, but if they instead focus on the mid-tier one turret, maybe they could just raise the turret and Wukong would have failed his TP. But because they had been wasting a lot of time on Twisted Fate with this stopwatch, well, Wukong could get his Twist um, teleport off and with this cover from all the other champions, they were able to turn the fight around. So Dynamics was the one that demanded a lot of skirmish wins and fight wins to kind of snowball throughout the game, but it was Sorya Prince that fight it better than them. And when Graves was taking the Herald, Dynamics were look was looking for a bot um, dive attempt, but they couldn't really pull it off. So all throughout the game, they were very indecisive and wasting quite a lot of time. And also, in the last fight, they were feeling the pressure of Dragon Soul, so it was a really a good news for Sorian Prince that they were able to steal it away to kind of let the burdens away from their shoulder. And let's move on to the Dragon Team fight. So they were just keep staying 5v5 over this Dragon Pit, but Koran Prince was the one that capitalized on their synergy better than the opponent. It's a going in, blending a lot, a lot of Malkov with his ult. And their synergy for team fight was way better than that of Dynamics. Dynamics, they did take a very early game focus comp. So they should have maybe made a lot of points in the earlier phase of the game, but in the later phase and every team fight, it was kind of a natural result to see. So Sora wanted to have a, had a lot of better edge for fights. So maybe Dynamics Day actually should just pull the Sora and Prince players to around the dragon, giving them the pressure of the soul points. But this game, we were able to see Ezreal and Yumi having a lot of power level. Sareon evened out the series with this game win, and let's check out who the player of the game for game number two. It's Iksu who overcame the pressure. Yeah, he was keep saying that he was so nervous all throughout the game at the end of this game, the mic check. And also, Mik Mickey replied that Wukong is the answer. Wukong was right, so. I mean, Ixu did pull it off really well. He, the way he piloted this champion was on point. Well, Bindori called him the, the shy of LCK because Ixu always pulls off some of the off meta champions, but this time around he went to a very go-to champion, a very well-known OP champion in the current meta, and he really showed up why Wukong is the MOP character right now. This contribution during the team fights is on another level compared to other top lane pits. And we could feel that Ixu was feeling a lot of pressure and a little bit feeling small, but I just want him to kind of come back and kind of pull off the play that he used to do in the earlier splits. It's almost an unanimous POG for game number two, so let's check out who will be the winner for this series, Dynamics versus Sarewan.